You're mastering football. You're mastering basketball. You're mastering baseball. There's something to be said about guys that are able to do that mentally on top of physically. It's appropriate, it's called no days off because he really has no days off, especially being a three sport athlete. And he has an older brother that's kicking tail at UCLA and that's a perfect role model for him. The really good thing in, in all sports is he brings his energy to every single sport. He's a captain on the football team. He's his incredible strength on the football field. All the coaches love him. Basketball coaches, they love his aggressiveness on the basketball court. Right, because a lot of basketball players, they don't have that football mentality. And in baseball, when he's up there, he's kind of intimidating, he's a big dude, and he likes to hit the ball as far as he can. He brings a light to the room. Everyone loves him. I'm Marco Sakas, I'm 16, and I'm a multi-sport athlete. Football, baseball, and basketball. After I got injured pretty bad in my groin, my second game of the season I missed and then I needed a recovery. So I started taking a bunch of icing, heat, stretching, and then so now it's getting more important. I did it before with a bunch of my teammates for a game and we sat down. It was my other friend's first time in an ice bath. So he was kind of freaking out too. We got in and we just started singing and just screaming and everyone was laughing at us, but it was pretty funny. Uh, so you just sit down and basically just wait 15 minutes. First time I tried delaying it, it was not as good. Right now it's really cold. Give me about two minutes, I'll be good. I'm gonna be shivering a little bit. Anyone, if you have not taken an ice bath, it's pretty fun. You should. Yeah, I've always loved all sports. I always liked watching them, but I love playing them way more. Once football season's over, I go to basketball. After basketball, I go straight to baseball. After baseball, I'm, I'm already at football practice. Then in summer, it's hard because you can have three practices in one day. He was active 100% of the time since he was a baby. He'd get a football and he'd go, hut, hut. Go deep, go deep, mom, go deep. He had a little like daredevil in it. For example, he jumped in the pool. He didn't even know how to swim. Good. I think he's kind of a typical younger uh, brother. Uh, my son and my daughter grew up playing sports and he kind of just tagged along. There's a ball, I want to play ball. There's a football, I want to tackle somebody. Or, you know, dancing, he would like to go dance too. So he was always kind of tagging along with whatever they were doing. I like to try beating up on my brother, but it never works. Like, we go to the park, and I'm trash talking him, and I'll score like three points. I'm thinking I'm the number one guy. Then he starts trying, and then I just look like I'm a three year old child getting dunked on. There you go. There you go. Good. I never wanted my kids to focus on one. I don't think you should. Woo wee! I was a three sport athlete. My sisters were three sport athletes. And I just think you only are young once. So why not just enjoy playing them all? I was gonna just play all of them. I never thought I was not gonna drop any. I just have too good of a time to quit. Each sport will benefit you and you're gonna gain from that. And I just think there's too many kids specializing so young and burning out. I just think mine haven't. They've been able to have fun with everything. You know, it's really hard baseball to go into a season uh, when you're not hitting the baseball or you don't, you haven't thrown in a while. Get my arm back into shape. So after a while, you're not gonna be able to throw. Your arm's gonna get dead. Like last season, made a mistake not throwing. Just, just kept throwing, jacked up my shoulder. But I'm all good. Guys that play multiple sports, you gotta be able to, to get up and play, know your your position, know everything that you have to do. And that's for three sports. And that in itself is pretty impressive. All right, those are cute singles. We need doubles or better now. Just watching him just get loose and, and use his power to hit, because he's not a singles hitter. 
He's not one of those guys that, yay, make contact. He's the guy that cleans the bases. So that's what we're working on, him just driving the ball consistently. Mm-hmm. That's loud noise. Doubles are better. I just said doubles, not double play. He has that thunder, that thunder. That, it just sounds different off the bat. And when you have guys that have that kind of power, you kind of want to utilize that. You want to get it out of them. And so when I'm working with them, I want them to swing away and feel what he's doing. And I have a couple of drills that I have him do so he can get the, the muscle memory down. So when he does swing and he gets it down, he gets it. And so the main thing with baseball, with, with, with hitting, you have to swing every day. It's just one of those things that if you don't use it, you lose it. He really, really has no days off. Uh, physically, mentally, you know, when he comes home, he likes to do some art, watch some movies, Netflix, just to chill out. But physically, it, it's definitely a grind for him. I like to draw. I like to consider myself pretty okay at drawing. But I just look at a picture and I just draw it, I guess. It helps me just relax. Yeah, I just draw and just listen to music and calm down. Marcos will be very successful, whatever he does. He's got the personality, he's intelligent, he's got so many talents, and he's gonna be very successful in whatever he chooses to do. He has a really, really good chance to play at the next level, and whether he chooses football or baseball, but I know that football is his passion, and it's inside of him. Just go to college, play any sport, just hopefully do really good. Thanks for watching my video. Click like and subscribe so you can see more great content. Always wanted to do that.